Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building and reviewing the John Deere 9700 Forge Harvester from Lego Technic. We have the Forge Harvester plowing through a field. Looks pretty cool. You see the combine arm out here on the side. We have the header, looks like a little silage corn header. On the back we see some of the play features. Looks like you can move some of the combine heads I guess and then maybe steer the wheel and maybe the arm here. This set retails for $39.99 and is set number 42168. So let's get into the unboxing and then we will time lapse the build and review it when we're done. Yeah so let's see what we got in the box here. We have the manual. It's pretty colorful here. I kind of like it. I like the Technic background here and then also the white and gray contrast with the green and yellow really stands out. Uh, do they say anything about it? No, they don't. It just gets right into the build. That's a little bit disappointing. I kind of wish they would have mentioned something about the product. I always like seeing the real information about it, but that's the booklet. And it looks like it comes in four build stages and tires. There is a sticker sheet that came with it. It looks like there's about 10 stickers on here. So we'll see what that looks like when we go to put those stickers on the Technic pieces. So yeah, let's get into the time lapse. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, but now we're going to take a closer, in-depth, detailed look at the John Deere Forage Harvester. So, starting off, you can see this set is pretty Technic heavy. There's a lot of Technic pieces. There's not too many system pieces. There's a few up here on the 
uh, roof of the combine. Basically just kind of in the cab there. You can kind of see there's some system pieces. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I guess there's a couple here um, on the side to make up this uh, underneath side of it. But pretty much the entire thing is Technic. I'm not the most avid fan of Technic to begin with, but I really liked the John Deere tractor. So I figured I'd pick this up and see how it goes. So let's take a closer look at some of the play features that this set has. So first we have the ability to rotate the wheels with the turn of this dial here. It's rear wheel steering. So that means like if you drive it forward, it's based on the rear, rear axle because um, the combine header needs to be pretty stout up front. So this dial right here loads and unloads the header or lifts and un lifts and drops the header from the forage harvester so you can drive pretty smooth if it's up and then you can put it down to start harvesting so the cool thing about this is that there's some tires underneath here you can see right in there so that creates some friction between your surface and the ground and when you actually start to push these that's when the header starts to rotate you have a row of silage corn and you want to harvest well here let's go start and then you're done with your row you say i want to turn around well let's uh, lift up the header turn around and uh, start over again so those are some cool play features that we have with this set my biggest dislike for this set is the fact that there there isn't too many details in terms of like stickers or just general outlining of the, the vehicle. Um, the Technic clearly stands out. Like you can tell it's a combine, but at the same time, it's very Technic looking. Uh, you have all these exposed pins and dials and everything. Another thing I didn't really like about this set is the, the top of it. I would have liked to have this have had a, like a giant tile similar to the tractor. We can take a look at that in a bit because I have that here too, but um, it's just Technic built. Again, like I said, you can't really add any color or sticker detail to it, I guess. I didn't like the, putting this sticker on just this piece. I think it would have been cool to have the, like some sort of like fully integrated like singular piece that creates the body of the side of the co uh, the combine or the forage harvester and then you know a sticker to indicate the different intricate details like i said it's pretty cool um in general i think it does a great way of showing it off but for the price point i think you're going to get better value out of the tractor that being said though it is cool i love being able to lower the header and then be able to drive it and then see the gears moving in the front harvesting the corn. Taking a look at the inside, uh, you have a little sticker there of the display panel within the cab, like the armrest of the harvester or the combine. Um, we have a little button up there, a button, uh, one by one round tile, and those are your like SCV controls, so uh, all your hydraulic functions. So that's really cool that they integrated all of that. I really wish that this would have been more than a seat and a steering wheel though. The cab of a combine is a lot more detailed than this, usually. I did like that the fact that we have mirrors and there's sticker elements, but you have a shiny metallic mirror that you can adjust. I did want to touch on this roof again. So the only way you attach it is with this Technic axle in the back here. There's two of them, I guess, and it just kind of hinges there and locks in place with those pins. But uh, there's nothing in the front. It's, it's not attach anything this is actually like you can bend it and the only thing holding it in place are those two long technic axles and it doesn't really hold it in place it just kind of sits there within that little um, hole i think that would have been a little bit more cool to have some corner posts that were solid that kind of connected it just made it a little more integrated looking the sticker on the front so this was something i learned so i figured since this was an agricultural product i when i first saw this logo i thought the logo was wrong because normally they're green and yellow and then i took a look at some reference images and for some reason the forage harvesters have black and yellow logos which usually is for um, the john deere construction and forestry which this doesn't fall under forestry or construction so it's just a little bit peculiar to me but it's correct to the machine. It's just different for a John Deere product, I guess is what I'm saying. Also, we have the ability to hinge basically your output of your silage and it rotates around that little 
hinge point there and then a pin holding it in place. You can ex like shoot it to the back or to the side, whichever way you want. I did like that they gave you the ability to hook something to the back if you want. You just pull out that pin and pop in uh, whatever you're pulling. Like for example, if you have a green card or whatever, put it in there and then you know, you'd spit out your corn or silage out the back. I guess we can take a look at the underneath side. See, it's mostly Technic. It's all pins and axles and I guess Technic pieces. It's pretty Technic heavy. It gets a little confusing on some of the instructions, but it does a cool job in the end. Touching on this header here, I just want to take another look at it. It's pretty cool. I like this. I think this is supposed to indicate hydraulics. Turn this dial here on the left. And that's what raises and lowers. And you can see the hinge point here. This has a piece on the back side that's connected in the cab that basically flips that down and lifts the header. So that, that little thing in the center there pushes it down and then that lifts the header. So it's like a little lever there. When you move it forward, all the gears interact with each other and all spin the same direction. It's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Technic, but I think it does a overall pretty good job i think there are some details that are missing in terms of like stickers and just places to like detail the harvester but um i really like the header it's pretty cool i think that's my favorite part of this but in in the end i i think that for the price value i would i would probably stick with the tractor over this but if you're collecting both i think it'd be a good set to have in your collection so i wanted to show off the harvester with the tractor here so this is the tractor next to the harvester and i just wanted to show because this guy is pretty detailed in terms of like adding stickers and like other um like body elements that kind of make this look cooler but like on this right you have a full body sticker there you got the ladder um you have the stickers back here, like all the detail. And then my favorite part with the stickers is this roof, right? Like if we're comparing the roofs, like I would, I think I would much rather have the sticker on the left than the open Technic build on the right. So that's, that's one of the things that I think missed on the Harvester. Um, again, this guy's also a bit like has some playability with the wheel turning there. And I mean, that's about it for this guy, but I think that the details within, within this set are a little bit better than the Harvester. However, I do think the playability with this is a little bit better. So kind of a trade-off there. If you have both of these sets, you can take the cart that comes with the tractor and actually use it as your unloading point, which obviously is not 100% uh, completely accurate but i mean it's something it's different right comparing cost right this guy is a little bit cheaper than this i think they're a cool line i would like to see what they do to add some other john deere products maybe i don't know just see what see what they can come up with here's a better look at that logo right so like mostly most of the time the agriculture logo is uh, green and yellow like this matches the rest of the vehicle on this guy, it's black and yellow. And like I said, that's not a Lego thing. That's an actual John Deere thing. So it's a bit interesting to me, like why that's different. That pretty much wraps up my thoughts on this. Like I said, I think that there's some room for improvement, but that might have included some ex extra cost that Lego didn't want to use. I think for the price, I, I would say if you could find it on sale at some point, it's definitely worth the value, especially if you're a Technic person. If you're not a Technic person and you're like a John Deere collector, I think that maybe you could justify it too. But if you're just trying to add this to your collection as a, you know, someone who occasionally collects Lego, I would 100% wait for it to be on sale. I don't think you need to pay full price for this, but we'll see if it ever goes on sale. The license itself, they had to pay for probably. So that is included in the cost of this. Hopefully this gives you a pretty honest review. You can make your own decision on whether or not you think it's worth it. So with that, this has been the Lego John Deere Forage Harvester, the 9700 series. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching.